Hi, it's Steve from Leading Dental. We're going to do a really quick 101 lesson on the difference between some of the E-type low speed or slow speed motors and the hand pieces that fit on them. So what we've got here is we've got a top of the line electric from NSK, an older style air motor here with an old bulb um, style motor, and then one of the newer style LED air motors. So the air motors just fit on the chair. The electric also integrate in the chair, but they use electronics. So they're running at higher speed, um, they're lighter, and, they're, and they've got more power as well. So I always recommend going straight to the top. If you're going to go with one upgrade, always make an electric motor. This one has endo function. Uh, you don't necessarily need that, but the electric motor for the extra power extra speed all the functions is a really good choice now what we've got here is for starters we've got this nice little short shank so the more modern motors have got this short shank short shank on the motor means that we can use a handpiece that also has a shorter shank or it will then be shorter because it doesn't need as deep a pocket for the the motor to go into so we end up with a lighter better balanced handpiece with less metal, so it's most times also cheaper. Um, so an all round better handpiece by upgrading our motor. Now the good thing about going to a motor with all the features and functions is they're in most cases backwards compatible. So we go with all the top of the line features, we can go all the way back to our most basic handpieces. If we start with a basic motor like this one here, which does actually have an option for external water, then we can use the basic hand pieces, um, but we can't use the higher end optical hand pieces. And the reason is, have a look on here, we've got this little dimple on here on the bottom of the hand piece. Now, sometimes that's retractable, but a lot of the time it's a fixed metal uh, dimple on there. And that little dimple on the hand piece slots into a shaft on the motor and it lines up the optics on the other side like a little led optics in this case and that shines up a fiber optic shaft and brings our optics out the end here um, what we also have is we have all of our uh, mist air and and uh, and our mist water that goes up through the shaft and goes internally through the handpiece again backwards compatible you know if we don't have the water in the motor we can't put a motor on with internal water because there's just no way for the water to get to the head but in reverse we can turn the water off if we're using a more basic handpiece so that's why we always try and um, sort of work backwards compatible where we can um, so that's probably one of the main things to be aware of is that optic and non-optic, yeah? So if you try and put an optical motor with that little dimple on the bottom of the motor, if we try and place that onto our really basic motor here, you'll see it won't line up, it won't go all the way down because that little dimple, that little locator is stopping the motor from the handpiece going all the way onto the motor. Um, so just be familiar with those few differences in there. As I say, if you go to that higher end motor, you in most cases going to be backwards compatible. Now we are basing this video on um, the, the average motor that would fit onto a chair. Once we go into surgical motors, things like that, we're in a whole different category. But look, I hope that helps as a bit of an intro.